More with former Congressman James Traficant. What would the former Congressman do about health care? There's only one downside to health care. This massive government becomes even that much more gigantic. So what would you do about health care? I don't know. I haven't studied all that much, but I think that the heart of President Obama is in the right place. Now what has to be done? There has to be a blending of this sentiment, this worthy integrity to do something right with a pragmatic economic approach that doesn't bankrupt America and destroy us even further. I take it the, t the seven years you're in prison, you never cried uncle. I never cried at all. Never cried at all? Why not? How, Why how, should what, I? What was it like? I'm an American just like everybody else. In fact, I went to prison. And a lot of Americans go to prison. What was it like? What was it like to I imagine the... For me, it was tough. The first place I went was Ellenwood, and I think the reason I went there, there were a lot of uh, illegal immigrants there. And they knew I had the troops on the border. I think I was put in a position to be hurt. When I was at Ellenwood, I had a guy say he would refute this, but he said, my mother's your biggest fan. Watch yourself. We can't even do nothing with you. Everything's coming out of Washington. Before long, I was in the hole. For what? Well, they, they said I caused a riot. I asked, I asked the question of some jack CEO over there, some officer who was so dumb he could throw himself to the ground and miss. But anyway. What was the question? Then I forget what it was. Like what? I mean, can you give me an idea? Was it a... No, I said people can't hear you. Speak up. And you went to the hole for that? I went to the hole, yeah. But anyway, they said it caused a riot. They shackled me and took me in front of the whole body into some room over there and put me in a hole. What did you do that was supposedly so bad? I asked that question. Just that single question yeah, caused a riot? that single question. Although I wouldn't meet with anybody, talk with the warden or anybody. I never even said hello to any of the wardens that were there. They were my captors. I didn't give a damn about them. I had nothing to do with them. And the hole didn't bother me. Gave me time to think. How long were you in um, Pennsylvania, in, Ens in Allenwood? I don't know, but I was in Raybrook only about nine months and probably about 17 months or whatever in, in Allenwood. But most political figures go to some camp, some country club. I didn't. I went to some tough time. And I was told also at Raybrook that I was only so many points away from going to a federal penitentiary. Did you have... Um cells or did you have rooms what kind of well it, it uh at raybrook i lived in a 20-man room with one commode and they locked you in at night but when i was at uh at uh, rochester uh, i lived for about three years in a four-man room it was about 10 by 14. private two, commode two, or not two, private? no 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 two sets of bunk beds you had about 15 square feet of your own personal space other than cabinets and stuff it was very crowded the prison system is very crowded. Uh, they should probably pass that crack law and make that right. Uh, they definitely should pass the 65 percent, and for nonviolent offenders, reduce it to 50 percent. And they should reinstate the parole board. See, one of the first bills I submitted, and I didn't get involved with those issues. Had I gotten involved, there'd be law. When I set my mind on something, I did it. But the first bill I submitted was the Nonviolent Offender Act. See, I believe, Greta, if you're nonviolent, you shouldn't go to prison. Well, what should we do with it? Well, you have all these support systems outside. You have all these people falling over themselves, like at lunchtime up there in the prison. You have all these people with suits that don't do a damn thing. But you have a lot of good COs and a lot of good workers that, you know, they're fair. I mean, they got to do their job. And I, I looked at it from a different angle. I mean, I was a prisoner, but I understood the dynamics of prison life. And now what you have is you, they, they want to keep the prisons open, keep the jobs going. They're putting 20, 30 years on some of these young people, and it's, it's out of hand, Greta. Is it tough to do time? Well, any, any time your freedom is impacted, it's very tough. I guess, you know, when you say stuff like you have a public commode, that's, you know, that's sort yeah. of like, oh, that sounds Yeah, well, you go into a job. Yeah, you, it's the Like you say, it's not uh, very flattering. But quite frankly, it didn't bother me at all. Because I I forfeited my future, and I didn't give a damn what they did to me. And from this day forward, talking with you, I don't give a damn what anybody does to me. I'm going to say what I think is right. I'm going to do what I think is right. And if it offends some people, then so be it. You see? Because I'm still, I guess, the same jack that I was. But I do love America. And America's in danger of imploding.
imploding. Now people laugh when I call for the depression. Stevie Wonder could see this coming. Stevie Wonder could see America's troubles now. Let me get back to this pr to prison. I'm tired of you getting back and well, I'm, I'm curious. pushing me around. I'm I've had enough. I'm going to push you around a little bit. Okay, go you ahead. You like being pushed around. Go a ahead. Bit. Those guys up in Rochester would say, "Don't let her push you around, Jim." You make some friends? Yeah, a lot of good people. A lot of good guys up there. Has anyone contacted you since you've been out? Any? Oh yeah. Well, they're not supposed to. Politicians? No, no politicians scared to death of me. You kidding me? Nobody, so nobody's called you and said, yeah. welcome home, Jim. No, nobody. Nobody. They're scared to death. Do you want to get targeted? See, you're being objective as hell. You're carrying the water pretty good. And I'm, you should do what you're doing. Because if you think, first of all, this bias I have towards Israel, believe me, I don't. I have a strong support for America. And if I think anything's wrong, I say it. But... If you're a politician and you support me, you're in trouble. If you're a businessman and you give me money on my finance report, you get audited. I was a target. And you know what I'm most proud of? What? That I was that target. I must have been doing something damn right. I was doing the right things, Greta. I passed a lot. You know, I never passed a bill. All of my stuff were put in other bills as amendments. But I got a lot done in Congress. And I'm very proud of that.